A quick thing to add, because this was not available when I recorded the video yesterday, but there was a configuration issue with how Riot was implementing the latency. Surprise, surprise, Riot Engineering. So keep that in mind for the rest of the video, but the rest of this information still holds true. Hey gamers, let's talk about the League of Legends mid-season invitational artificial 35 millisecond ping. Um, this is basically the setup that I'm assuming that they have, right? So this would be uh, one team's computers, the other team's computers, they're all connected to a switch. Uh, that switch goes to a router, and that router is either limiting the data output here, uh, through some other computer fully saturating this output, or they have another server here that acts as a relay that will forward the packets with a certain amount of delay. So I'm not sure which way they're going with it, but both ways would work fine. And for just a visual representation of how a packet would go, you know, PC1 sends his uh, update to the server, the switch forwards that to the router, then there would be a certain amount of delay right here, and then it'd be sent to the game server, there'd be another uh, amount of delay here, and then it is sent back to the computer. This would be the, the next game tick and your display would update with the proper information, right? That's what I'm assuming their setup is like. Either the router is being fully saturated on one interface and uh, quality of service is moving the packets slower because of that, or they're using a relay. So either way, um, doesn't really matter which way they're doing it, they're artificially increasing the time that it takes to get from this computer to the game server, which are probably like within, you know, 500 feet of each other. What does that really mean? Well, League of Legends actually only runs at 30 ticks per second, which is really low for a competitive game. Uh, this means that your inputs are handled in windows of 33.3 milliseconds. So it doesn't matter if your ping is 8 or 16, they're going to give you the same gameplay experience because a, a packet arriving with 8 ping and a packet arriving with 16 ping are both only going to be processed once every 33.3 milliseconds and they're synchronized with a clock. So it doesn't matter who arrived first, you're both gonna get processed on the next game tick. So that this doesn't mean that if you arrive at 33 milliseconds uh, after the last game tick, you're gonna be processed. You still need to arrive a little bit early. I'm thinking uh, in here I said about like 10 milliseconds you'd probably have to arrive. I don't know how how much earlier you'd have to arrive, but if it's an optimized game server, it should be able to process everybody's inputs within 10 milliseconds, right? Uh, so as long as you arrive before uh, that final 10 millisecond window that would cause uh, your inputs to be delayed until the next game update, you're playing on a, a perfect ping. There, it doesn't matter if you're on 8 or 16 or 20, as long as you're arriving before the next frame is processed and your inputs are there, you're going to be experiencing no additional latency. But now we move on to 35, which is definitely a breakpoint past the first tick of delay. So once you pass this first tick, now your packet is delayed, the game server goes, uh, tick zero. Okay, everybody, what are your inputs? You miss that first window for tick, for tick one, but your inputs are available for tick two. So now your, your inputs and your visuals are delayed by one tick, which is a problem. Yes, that's a 33.33 millisecond delay on all of your inputs. Is that massive? No, but in a professional setting, Yes, I can agree that you would rather not play with that. But really, it's one tick of delay, right? So most North American players who uh, play North American solo queue, they're playing with about 60 ping. Uh, 60 ping more or less is going to be one additional tick of delay because 66.6 .6 would be the breakpoint for the next 
uh, for the next window, right? People are saying, you know, it's it's like they're playing with 60 ping. Well, if you're playing with 60 ping, it's the same as if you're playing with 35 ping, by the way. Like, the, those are the same thing. There's no difference. Because if you're playing with 60, uh, hopefully you're you're arriving at the same at the same tick. And with the packet loss thing, that does make me think that they're oversaturating this interface. Uh, like they they have a com a computer here basically running ICMP pings through through this interface with a very large packet size. So that's just what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, here's a an example of uh, game capture data just to verify that yes, League of Legends does run on a 33.3 millisecond clock because it's only a 30 tick game. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit. Uh, 33, 36, 39, there's the tick rate in action. If you want to verify this for yourself, you just pop open a game of League of Legends and count the uh, milliseconds between each frame. These are these are called frames. Not like a frame, like a visual frame, a frame like a packet frame. Yeah, so I just thought that I'd explain that a little bit. At the absolute worst, they're playing with an additional one tick of delay which accounts to about 33.3 .3 milliseconds. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.